Brian's got to think that there's really not much he could be there. Now look at this fence. Stan, who didn't raise before the flop, didn't raise on the flop, now is going to lead out and bet when the four card straight and the three card flush comes out there. This is a bit puzzling to me. 250,000. Let's go to the felt. Lines are 25 and 50 with a $5,000 ante. Marvin Carlin's the flying duckman quickly folds. And now Ben Zamani. Tough poker pro out of Boca Raton with king 10 of spades. We'll make it 105 to go. Stan, Jablonski going out. Ryan Dunn, who's a non-professional player out of Tallahassee. But he's been the most aggressive player at this final table thus far. And look at this. Most people, when someone raised in front of me, would just quickly jettison an A6 offsuit. But Ryan going to three bet with it. Yep, makes it 220 to go. Jake Schwartz out. Tyler Patterson out of Scottsdale. Tough professional player. Won't play around this time. And now Ben Zamani's going to re raise. He's four betted here with the King 10, Vince. 335, putting the pressure on Ryan Dunn. He's got to fold the hand. Ben takes down the pot. Just like he could see through the back of the cards there, Vince, the way he played that one. Want to play in a $15 million tournament? The first 200 viewers to sign up will get a free entry to win a seat into the 15 million guaranteed WPT World Championship at Wynn Las Vegas. Simply use this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT82. Join the action on WPT Global, the world's largest poker network. All right, right back to it. Ben Zamani this time with a pair of eights. Ben's got a World Series of Poker bracelet to his name. He's made close to 2.5 in poker earnings. He's going to raise 105 to go. Stan owns a jet ski company. Yeah, I got the Queen 10 of clubs, but I've not to play it. Now Ryan Dunn, this time, with a decent ace five of clubs. Well, we know Ryan likes to play pots. We've seen that. And he's going to play this one. He makes the call. Jake Schwartz from New York out. Tyler not going to play that one. And now Marvin. Yeah, Marvin, 74 years old from Riverview, Florida. Lays it down. We're going to see a flop. Eights versus ace five. And the flop is a king, 10 deuce. What do you do if you're Ben here? Two overcards out there. The guy called a pre-flop raise. Well, ben has the two eights. He's going to make a continuation bet and hold his breath with the two overcards out there. Yeah, just hoping against hope. Ryan did not catch. First time ever playing in a WPT tournament. Ryan Dunn been very impressive so far. Trying to stare down his man, and he's going to release this one. So a nice continuation bet by Ben there to win that pot. Ben Zumani from Boca Raton, Florida. Still Originally from Germany. It's his ninth WPT you got, cash. You got like 50 years to win one of these. Uh, you know, Duckman and I, we got about 40 only. Next hand, Ryan Dunn. <laughs> this time, right, even Ryan can't play a jack three. Jake Schwartz with King Queen. He's definitely going to play that, and he's going to raise it right here to 105,000. <laughs> Tyler with ace three. Tyler likes to play and get involved, but just not with this kind of hand. Oh, oh wait a moment, folks. This is a dramatic hand. And now Marvin <laughs> Carlins. Come on, we got to get. That was wimpy. What do we got here? Oh, and you already got a big bet out. King 10. And he won't play that. And Zamani, though, picks up ace four. Seems interested. Wow. He has raised a 325 to go. Let's see, four bet a minute ago with just a King 10. Now he's three betting in here with just an ace four. He won the last pot. Let's see what's going to happen here. He's going to win this one too. Top one, top now, one. Which one do you show, the ace or the four? Oh. So it's the four. Ooh. 
Jake not happy seeing that four, Vince. Feels like he got outplayed there. That means everybody knows the best he could have was two fours, and yet he's still three bet to hand. The guy's very playful here at the final table. All right, Tyler Patterson, the lone remaining bounty left in this tournament. Going to raise the pot here. Marvin, the duck man, has picked up a whopper. Ace, king of diamonds, big slick. 500,000. And he's going to move it up to 500,000 to go. That is a healthy raise of 385,000. Everyone folding. Including Tyler. So the duck man <laughs> takes down the pot. Now he's a great unorthodox player. Marvin Carlin's the duck man would be the oldest player in the history of World Poker Tour if he should take down this title at 74 years old. And right now, action on Ryan Dunn. Quickly folding Jake out. Over to Tyler. Tyler has an ace three here, but that's going to be enough for him to raise it. Yeah, former poker dealer. That's how he got into the poker world. And now a great young player. He has raised, and Marvin Carlins behind him has a king-queen. Call. Going to make the call. Over to Ben. Ben Zamani lives in Boca Raton now. Yeah, now he's getting a good price to call, but you just can't do it with that junk. He goes out. And Jabonski now has King Queen. He's going to play for sure. Doesn't matter if he calls or raises. Call. Call. And he does just call. So we have three-way action. Ooh, I feel like somebody's going to get eliminated in his hand. It's going to be it. A... Little does Tyler know what good shape he's in, Vince. Both opponents have the King Queen. Look at this flop, Jack 10-9. Two guys have flopped the nuts. Unbelievable. Stan's going to check, and Tyler wisely checks. I've always wanted to say this on television. I raise $1 million. <laughs> well, he doesn't raise, but he bets a million. Even with same thing at this point. Duckman. Get out of my pot. So excited. Get out of my pot. Not as excited as Stan right now. Of course, Stan is going over the top oh, with no. his nuts all in. Tyler out. You said it, Duckman. I call. Well, Marvin makes the call. Let's look at their face when they realize they have the same thing. You got a diamond. Diamonds! Yeah. Queen of diamonds? Or... Stan, of course, does have a diamond, so he can go run a runner diamond. That wasn't exciting. And win the hand. I didn't want to bust you anyway, so. Oh, oh right. Boy, Just take it from you. Stan, your nose is going to grow. Actually, it's going to be a four hearts. <laughs> Let's see if Stan can get a diamond and make a suspenseful. Right. No, ten of hearts. So they are going to split this up and move on. Oh, there's the, there's the diamond. <laughs> this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, I believe, out of these two. Laughing and joking going on. Very, very nice. That Players having nice. a lot of fun tonight here at Best Bet. Why not? One of them's going to walk away with a WPT title and a paid entry into the WPT Tournament of Champions at the end of the year. We still have six players left. That's pretty amazing after playing this long. It certainly is. All right. Marvin, professor at... University of South Florida. Well, he's not only a professor, Vince, he's a writer, a consultant. He grew up in Minnesota, actually co-wrote Lyle Berman's book. A couple folds. Now look at this, Ryan Dunn, who usually doesn't get many hands, has a great hand this time, pair of aces. And the button. Great place to be disguising your hand. We've seen him raise with 10 5 offsuits on the button and all kinds of other hands. 150 to go. Can he get they action? Him on those hands. Here they fold, oh. and he wins the pot with two aces. Same thing happened to Jake Schwartz earlier at this final table. He was in the big blind. Everybody folded to him. Now, Ryan wasn't in the big blind, but when you bet nobody plays with you, you just feel like you lost something. Uh, there's our new Royal Flush Girl, Marilyn. <laughs> all right. Well, there's the chip count. Marvin Carlin, still our chip leader. 74 years young, over three million <laughs> chips. Tyler Patterson in second chip position. Down to the money pit we go. Ben Zamani, tough young poker player. Well, Ben has the jack six offsuit. Just nothing. He goes out. Stand with the king queen. Last time he hit that, it come jack 10 nine, and he split the pot, Fence. 
but he likes his hand. He has raised and right behind him. Ryan with a solid pair of jacks. Ryan got no action with his two aces a minute ago, but going to get some here. Yep, he's going to make the raise. Couple folds. Everyone going out. Back on jet ski man, Stan Jablonski. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. How do you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan with the Ray man. Raising Ryan. That doesn't Ryan look like one of those characters out of The Hangover? He does. Actually. Okay. Stan, let's take that. Oh, Stan. Gonna fold it. <laughs> and Ryan, not used to getting good cards, now getting a flurry. Really like his game. He's played brilliantly. 15, 20%. Speaking of the hangover events, mm -hmm. you know, the director of that movie and writer, Todd Phillips, made our final table at the Legends of Poker a number of years back. Yeah. I had played with him in some private games in Beverly Hills, and he's quite a poker player. Yes, he is. All right, Ryan, this time with 10 8. Going to splash around, make it 125 to go. Jake behind him with a 9 7 of clubs. Doesn't like that. Tyler also out. Now Marvin with the highway patrol hand goes away. And Ben out back to Stan. And he's got the speed limit hand here, the two fives. 125. Well, he likes it. He's going to call it. Duck man, come on, one time. Going to the duck man for a little luck. I'm in trouble. Well, it doesn't help him with that flop as it comes queen jack three. And it's quite a flop for Ryan, as you can see. A flush draw and a gut shot straight draw. Yeah, he can't quite believe it himself. Yeah, but it's a kind, really, you just have 10 high, so you have to bet here. But you don't mind getting action, that's for sure. 140, he's bet, stands in front, but hard to know it with that board. Two over cards, a guy bets, just hard to continue, Vince, because you're going to face more heat coming up on the Turnin River. Stan opting to fold. Ryan taking down that pot. We still have six left. Going after a big prize here at the Best Bet Bounty Scramble. Stay with us. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Go to the felt. Actions on Jake Schwartz. Tyler, of course, the last remaining bounty in this tournament, meaning whoever knocks him out will get 2,500 in cash. A couple folds around to the Flying Duckman. 200. Looks down at Jack 10. Going to bet 200,000. Ben Zamani with a pair of deuces. Hold well, on. Wow, he's playing these stronger than the duck man plays them. All in by Ben. And next, Stan Jablonski with a king queen. That won't do it. Ryan out as well. What's the matter with you guys? I always have to do the dirty work. You're the duck. I tried. Yeah. So Marvin gets Pretty squeezed good. by the vice. Uncallable at this point. Oh. The two ducks, Vince. <laughs> he would have shown the other one just out of spite. Come on. <laughs> you found the horn over there. Duck man, he needs a horn for that. No, Come no, on. he's going to show two deuces. Oh, Marvin doesn't think he had two deuces because he just showed one. Needs two. He needs two deuces. Doesn't get the horn unless he's got two ducks. Marvin, he had him. Did you go to like a dollars ninety nine cents store today oh, and pick that kazoo up? Love this What'd kazoo, you do? whatever it is. I love it. I want to take it to the poker table with me. <laughs> oh. I get everybody on tilt. Well, it's funny because Marvin has one at the table and he's blowing his. You guys are in unison. Uh, he doesn't blow unless he gets two deuces. I like to blow beautiful. it every other hand to drive him nuts. All right, back to Marvin. He's got a solid ace ten. Four hundred thousand. Gonna make it four hundred thousand. Big blind is just 60,000, folks. He spent 400,000. And a couple folds around to Brian Dunn, who has a pair of fives. But Vance, because of that large raise, he knows if he moves in, he's going to get called. Yeah. Where at best, he'll probably be in a race. So the large bet drove Ryan out of that. It would have been a standard smaller bet. Ryan would have been the guy moving in, probably. Jake has some money in there, but he can't call with King-10 because of the large raise. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> now, Marvin's going to show one of his cards. They all want to see. I'm sure it's going to be the 10, and it is. Well, it is the 10. And there you see Jake. He thinks he laid down the best hand with the King-10. Uh, I guess I should have went all in again. 
These guys made the agreement, of course, to show one card even in uncalled pots, so. That was Ben Zamani's idea, and Jake quickly agreed to it, and all the rest of them did too when they started this final table. Yep, back down to the money pit. Ryan Dunn with a mid pair of sevens. He's going to raise it up to 150,000. Yep, a couple of folds behind him. Marvin looks at a 10 and an 8. Doesn't like it much. What a Benzamani. He's in the small prime with the Queen Deuce of Clubs. But ops to fold. Dan Jablonski will be going nowhere with the ace queen of hearts, just a matter if he re-raises or calls. He just calls. It's not re-raised, so here we go. Two sevens for Ryan. Ace queen for Stan, and the ace coming on the flop. Put Stan out front as it comes ace five deuce with two diamonds. Now Stan is gonna check. I would think Ryan would bet here, hoping his opponent doesn't have an ace. He bets 125,000. Smart bet, in my opinion, into a pot that's got 390,000 in it. You don't have to make a big bet to get the same information. Well. Stan does make the call. Now an eight comes off. Now Stan's going to check. By Stan calling on the flop, probably put the caution lights on here for Ryan. Let's see if it does. Yep, he's going to check also. But now the three of diamonds comes off. Now Ryan's got to think that there's really not much he can beat here. Now look at this, Vince. Stan, who didn't raise before the flop, didn't raise on the flop, now is going to lead out and bet when the four card straight and the three card flush comes out there. That's a bit puzzling to me. 250,000. Ryan trying to think what he can beat now. It certainly can't be much. Boy, oh boy, what a dangerous board to bet into with just two aces here. Well, Ryan gives it up, so Stan does take down that pot. Bottom, bottom one. This one? Yeah. yeah. You think he might have raised earlier, he didn't. And you think he should have checked, he bet. That was a card that didn't connect with the board. Okay. Yeah, Yankees, well, Giants. Showing Knicks. that queen of hearts. Jets, really has everybody Knicks. scratching their head now, Vince, as what the other card was, the way that hand was played. And a fold. All right, Jake out. Tyler with King Jack, Mux. Marvin with a seven. Call. Well, he limps in and calls with ace high. So nobody's gonna put him on an ace, that's for sure. Now Ben with a King 10, what do you do now when the guy limps in front of you? Well, you, you limp also, see a flop. Maybe. See what the blinds do. Stan folds out of the small blind and Ryan happy to get a free flop here with the 9-5. The flop comes queen eight seven. Ryan, as you can see, the gut shot straight draw. He's gonna check. Check. Marvin with bottom pair, top kicker checks. See what Ben's gonna do with zippity doo dah. Yep, just king high. Says you're checking, I'm betting. There you go, 130. Taking a stab. Got one of them to go away. Well, Ryan goes out, but Marvin's gonna call him with his pair. Has the best hand right now. Snap call. Something like that. And the king on the turn hits Ben. 300,000. Marvin's gonna lead right out and bet here. He does have a flush draw with the two sevens. But he was just hoping that Ben didn't have a king in his hand where he could possibly win the pot right here. 300. The 300,000 is the bet by Marvin and called by Ben. So 
So a decent sized pot brewing now between these two. No club, three of hearts. Doesn't help the Flying Duckman. He's gonna check and Ben Zamani. Well, Ben's gonna try to get a value bet in here. Bet. 190,000 into a pot that's got over 1.1 million in it. Yeah, trying to induce the call, but oh, Marvin too smart. Ejects the hand quickly. Oh, amazing lay down there. Many players would have made a curiosity call right there. Wow. Ben Zamani going to take that one down. He started playing poker in high school with friends. Now he's playing for championships. We're coming back with more action in just a moment here on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. Want to play in a $15 million tournament? The first 200 viewers to sign up will get a free entry to win a seat into the 15 million guaranteed WPT World Championship at Wynn Las Vegas. Simply use this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT82. Join the action on WPT Global, the world's largest poker network. Down to the felt we go. Tyler Patterson quickly folding, and now Marvin Carlins. 500,000. With a pair of threes, gonna make it 500,000. They bring in Bent when the big blind is only 60,000. You just don't see that often, no. folks. Ben goes out. You're just absolutely gonna force somebody to have a hand to play against him. Stan the jet ski man going away. Ryan and Jake folding, so the flying duck man. There you go. Forget all those men raising and all that. Just bet a half mil and take it down. Man. The duck man is back. Don't mess around. Yep. If you were here, you would have won. Don't get three bet. Don't get outplayed. I told you that. Blinds are 30 and 60. Ryan Dunn. Very unorthodox. Strong, non professional player. Quickly folds his hand, but Jake has Ace King behind him. Likes his hand. Going to make 130 to go. Into Tyler Patterson. And now Tyler looks down at two queens. The lovely ladies. Tyler's going to love this. 275. About the first real hand he's picked up at this final table. And he is going to three bet it to 275,000. Oh, Duckman gets out of the pond. Ben out. With a stand. He's out as well. So back on Jake. Takes one of the two short stacks at the table. He's going to go all in with Ace-King. A snap call by Tyler. And this is the classic race, folks. The Ace-King versus two queens. Ace-King. Both players have a big hand. The queen's a slight favorite to win the pot, but... Jake, should we go pee? Yes. Both go. Tyler Patterson obviously has him way covered, so... Yeah, Jake's a player at risk here. If he loses this pot, he's out in six. He's vulnerable. Duckman. Yeah, I gotta get the fist pound. Duckman, give me the fist pound. There we go. Oh, Goes over to the duck man, trying to get a little luck rubbed so off, and the duck man happy to give it here, Vince, because they're going to lose a player where he can move up and pay this time. So, duck man should just go to WPT events and sit in a corner and just high five people for 20 bucks a person. Here we go with the flop. Jack seven seven. So far, so good for Tyler. Two queens out in front. Yeah, but the turn card has been the. The creepy card of the evening so far. Two outdraws on the turn. Let's see if it'll happen again. Nope. A six, so we are down to the river. Jake must catch an ace or a king, or he will be our sixth place finisher. Everybody on their feet. Can we see another card caught at the river? Not this time. Four comes off. That's going to do it for 24-year-old Jake Schwartz out of New York. Came to this final table in sixth chip position, but boy, oh boy, did he stay alive a long time, went up and down, eventually succumbed in sixth place. Yeah, fine player, young guy, Jake Schwartz, taking home 72,000. Let's go see what Jake has to say. I am definitely not happy, but it's poker, it's standard flip. It's not like it was a bad beat or anything, so I'll, I'm obviously unhappy, but there's always another tournament next week, so I'll see you guys probably there. Action's gonna be on the chip leader Tyler. Quickly folds his hand into the flying duck man. Mr. Marvin, Queen Four of Hearts. And we'll play that. And now Ben Zamani has a big one. Ace King. Well, he's got it, and he's definitely gonna play it. 
Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, maybe he was. Yeah, he could be right. And he's going to raise it. Makes it 155,000 to go. Well, if it's time, it's time, Ben. That's the way I say. It's not quite time now, but. Stan makes the fold. It is time on the time. All in. All in. Ryan Dunn with King all Queen yeah. has gone all in because he's on the short stack at this point. And of course, Ben is going to call this. Yeah, Ben's going to love it. He's got Ace King up against King Queen. About as good as you can do. You've been running bad at flips. <laughs> if you were suited, it would be a flip. Oh, you're sick. How do you get that on the button? So Ryan Dunn at risk here. Nearly a 90% underdog to win this pot. There's a lot of queens in this deck. Not as many queens as you think. We saw Tyler fold a queen. We saw Marvin fold a queen. We're chopping this thing. You can see that. There's one that. tough, non-professional player, and now he's on the ropes. Let's see if he can turn it around with a good flop. Here comes the flop. Flop four, seven, eight, all spades. Stan Jablonski would have flopped a flush with a straight flush draw, events. Wow. He's kicking himself for not being in there, but as it is, Ben is in great shape. He not only got the best hand, but the best draw with the ace of spades in his hand. The upturned card is a five of hearts. No good for Ryan. Well, it's good for him, and he can now catch a six. It's not a spade and split the pot. Gives him three more outs to stay alive in the tournament fence, but he only has one queen in the deck he can catch to win this pot. The other two are already gone. Well, he is a long shot prayer right now. Let's catch a case queen or a six to get a split. Nothing else will do for the guy. Let's see if he can do it. Not to be a five of spades on the river. It is over for Ryan Dunn. You're getting all in on the flop anyway. That's going to do it for Ryan Dunn. The 29-year-old from Tallahassee, Florida, out tonight in fifth place. That is right. Ryan is done. He's out of here. Going to take home 90,000 and some experience. Let's go see what he has to say. Uh, it was amazing. It was a dream come true. <laughs> Had a lot of fun with these guys. They're all super good guys and play very well. So I'm glad to make it this far.